You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Hosea Zainal, made a statement following the speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which was given during the reception of the advisor to the U.S. President Donald Trump, which Zainal said reflects the stability and solidarity in the Gulf, thanks to the role of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, for whom she expressed full support. She added that His Majesty's speech expresses a long-standing Bahraini position of support towards Saudi Arabia, the deep-rooted ties that bind the two countries and the leadership role of Saudi Arabia in safeguarding the stability, security and development of the region. Zainal praised the ongoing development of the strategic bilateral ties thanks to the leadership of His Majesty the King and King Salman bin Abdul Aziz and said that these ties reflect how the two countries and people complement one another in all fields. She expressed gratitude to Saudi Arabia's long-standing support for Bahrain and praised the Saudi role in Gulf solidarity on all matters that relate to the Arab and Islamic nations and to the world at large. She also expressed appreciation to the role of the United United Arab Emirates in supporting the Arab and Muslim nations and said that the legislative authority fully supports His Majesty's praise of the UAE and its historic role in this regard, which include the efforts to find a just and comprehensive settlement that guarantees Palestinian rights and a lasting peace in the region. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali al-Saleh, stated that the wise vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa has maintained the solid strategic and diplomatic status of Bahrain and the region through the historic and steadfast positions on issues of the Arab and Islamic nations with Saudi Arabia. Al-Saleh noted that the speech of His Majesty the King during his meeting with a senior advisor to the President of the U.S., Jared Kushner, yesterday, during which His Majesty affirmed the dependence of Gulf stability and solidarity in all situations on Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, reflects a deep-rooted and brotherly relations with Saudi Arabia. Al-Saleh also noted Saudi Arabia's high status for the Bahraini people and its pioneering role in various Arab stances. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the SCIA, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, has joined the Muslim Council of Elders. The Sheikh of Al Azhar and Muslim Council of Elders Chairman, Grand Imam Sheikh Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib, issued an edict appointing Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed as member in recognition of the long standing efforts and the SCIA pioneering role in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah al-Khalifa, held a virtual meeting this morning with the Chairman of the Ja'fari Endowment Board, Yusuf al-Saleh, along with members of the Husseini Procession, General Authority and Heads of Ma'atims. The meeting was also attended by the Chief of Public Security and various governors and was held following a successful season of Ashura, which was held in a safe environment that took all health precautions into account to contain the pandemic. The Minister opened with a statement in this annual meeting, which he said was held in the spirit of social participation. He said that holding the meeting virtually was necessary due to the exceptional circumstances that the kingdom and the world are currently experiencing, which he said is in line with the wisdom of the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who is keen on the safety and comfort of all citizens. The minister said that His Majesty's keen interest in the welfare of everyone is reflected in his support and sponsorship for the holding of the Ashura season in a matter that reflects its significance. He added that holding Ashura's rituals is a long-standing tradition in Bahrain as it reflects its protection of freedom of religion. He said that the success of the season is the result of the cooperation between all relevant ministries and state institutions through their provision of all necessary supplies and services while ensuring the observation of precautionary measures to ensure public safety and health for all. He praised the support of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the support by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, whose leadership through Team Bahrain has yielded national achievements in the field of public health as affirmed by the World Health Organization. The minister affirmed that the success of the Ashura season can be noted in the application of the health precautions, which he said reflects a high degree of social awareness and responsibility. He said that this is also owed to the cooperation of the heads of the relevant religious institutions as well as to the members of the Husseini Procession General Authority. He thanked the chairman of the member of the Jaffrey Endowments Board for their cons constructive cooperation as well. The minister said that coordination between all relevant parties, including Team Bahrain and the Ministry of Interior, was an ongoing process and expressed hope that such cooperation will continue to safeguard the country's achievements. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation for their efforts, along with those of the governors, the chief of public security, various officers and personnel at the Ministry of Interior, all of whom carried out their national duty. He then said that all health precautionary measures, such as social distancing, were observed in the Husseini processions, which reflects high level of social awareness. The minister concluded by affirming freedom of religion, which he said is legally and constitutionally guaranteed, and added that the Ministry of Interior is always keen on ensuring that such freedom is not abused. The minister then listened to those to the participants of the meetings as 
they discuss the details of the Ashura season. The chairman of the Jaffer Endowment Board expressed His Majesty's speech upon the conclusion of the Ashura season, which the chairman said had a positive effect on the morale of all citizens and that it represents the leadership's long-standing tradition of supporting these rituals. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications, Kamal Mohammed, launched a new aviation radio station in the presence of the Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yaqub al Hamar. The minister said that the launch is part of the ministry's strategic projects to develop civil aviation systems and services in Bahrain, which will provide air navigation services with the highest level of quality and safety. He said that this project enhances the kingdom's pioneering role in providing international air navigation services in accordance with the standards of the International Civil Aviation Organization, in addition to supporting the safety of air traffic for aircraft arriving and departing from the airport. For his part, the Minister of Housing said that the station will contribute to the development of East Head Town housing project by increasing the project completion rate to about 90%. The project aims to provide a safe and advanced communication environment for about 8,000 aircrafts per month that arrive and depart at Bahrain International Airport, in addition to more than 600,000 aircrafts that transit annually through Bahrain. The Minister of Information Affairs Ali bin Mohammed Rumehi made a statement to the Saudi press agency in which he stressed that the stances expressed by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa while receiving senior advisor to U.S. President Jared Kushner reflect the feelings of every Bahraini and Arab citizen towards Saudi Arabia. Rumehi highlighted that the shared experience of His Majesty and keenness and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to develop bilateral relations and integration across various fields and sectors. He emphasized the distinguished long standing relations between the two brotherly countries are an international role model for joint ties as they are based on fraternity, solidarity, integration and joint keenness to achieve prosperity for the people and country of the region. The information minister stressed that Saudi Arabia has proven throughout its long history that it is a symbol of justice and wisdom as well as the first defender of the issues of the Arab and Islamic nations. Customs Affairs affirmed that the payment of fees and taxes services has become available through the national portal Bahrain.bh, which enables beneficiaries to pay fees and taxes electronically without the need to personally attend the services center. The service was provided in the framework of cooperation with the International e Government Authority. Customs Affairs affirmed that the launch of the new service would contribute to the speedy completion of transactions remotely and to achieving the foundations of social distancing in light of the corona pandemic, as well as its role in enhancing government performance and saving time and effort of service users. The head of the school health department at the health ministry, Dr. Iman Ahmed Haji, said that the coordination has been made with the Ministry of Education to implement a number of training workshops to raise awareness on precautionary measures to prevent the spread of coronavirus in the framework of preparing for the gradual reopening of educational institutions and schools. Dr. Haji indicated that three training workshops have been implemented for the public education sector, special education and higher education. The workshops included the most important precautionary measures to be followed in educational institutions and emphasized the mechanisms and response strategies in case of a suspected infected case in the institution. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,855 active cases with 348 recoveries and 468 registered new cases. 123 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 340 are contacts of active cases and 5 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.